Welcome to this new mastering tutorial in Logic Pro. Last time I showed you the basics of mastering with stock plugins and today I'm going to compare that with the mastering plugin Ozone 9 and Ozone 10 from Isotope. I have Ozone 9 standard version and recently I've just bought the latest version Ozone 10 and I took the advanced version. One thing that's really convenient with Ozone is that it has a mastering assistant that's going to analyze your song and to master your track for you. We're going to see how it works works and if it's good or not. This is not a sponsored video by the way but I bought the plugin so of course I like those plugins. I think it's a good investment. It's a really good plugin and you can do a lot of things with it and it's also a time saver with the mastering assistant. Let's not wait any longer and let's get straight into this video. As I said, we're going to compare the three versions. So my version, the standard version of Ozone 9, and finally the advanced version of Ozone 10. Let's listen again to the mastering I did last time. And that's with the standard version of Ozone 9. Finally, with Ozone 10 Advanced. Personally, I prefer the latest version, but as we will see, it's a bit more difficult and it takes a bit more time because the mastering assistant doesn't work as well as on the standard version which is a bit weird, but this is how it is. Let's start with the standard version. I can click here on the master assistant. That's pretty impressive. As we can hear, it sounds pretty good for mastering. As we can see, it added an EQ, a dynamic EQ and a limiter. For the EQ, it's very similar than last time. We cut a bit the lows. Here we boost around 3.5K and we also do a high shelf around 10K. For the dynamic EQ, I'm not going to talk too much about it. It just reduces some of the peak so that the effect of the limiter is not too obvious. And then of course you can change all the parameters. <laughs> Now I'm going to do the same thing with the latest and the advanced version. As we can hear, it doesn't sound good at all. So the first thing to fix is the limiter. Here we need to adjust the threshold. and it stopped saturated. Here we can click on learn threshold and target minus 14 LUFS. As I said on my last video, it's the recommended output level for streaming platforms. That's one thing. Now the EQ is a bit too much, I think. On the standard version, it boosted of 3 dB around 10K. I think that was a better choice. Here as well, boosting by 4 dB is a bit too much for a mastering. So I'm going to boost it by only 1.5 or 2 dB. And I cut a bit less on the mids. This is new in Ozone 10 and the stabilizer is pretty good. It's a dynamic EQ, so an EQ that changes according to the part of the song. Here you can choose the amount. I'm going to put it at 100% just to hear what it does. This is the before and after, so before. and after. So 
so we have way more clarity at the mastering stage. That's pretty much all I had to say about these two plugins and this comparison. I hope you enjoyed it, let me know what you think in the comments. To summarize, the standard version is a bit easier to use with the mastering assistant, so it can be good if you're starting, if you're a beginner. The advanced version has more options of course, but it's a bit more difficult to use and the mastering assistant doesn't work as well as in the standard version. So you need to have that in mind if you want to buy it. Personally, that's the plugins that I used, so I can only recommend it. Again, this is not a sponsored video, it's just my opinion. I think it's a big time saver and I think it does a pretty good job. Let me know what you think in the comments and if you liked my video, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the like button. I'll see you very soon for a new video. Stay tuned, take care, bye bye.